Up for sale, 1969 Dodge Coronet 440. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 69 Coronet 440. Finished in green with a green vinyl top and green interior. Powered by a built 360. Automatic transmission and power steering. As always, I'm going to go around it, point out anything I do see, fire it up, and then drive it. So, of course, we will start here in the front, as always. And uh, this is probably one of the cleanest Mopars I've had. The, the quality, excuse me one second. <coughs> quality and condition of the paint. The shine, uh, door jam finish, vinyl top, how nice the interior is, how nice the underneath is, trunk, running and driving. Chrome. I mean, I no streaks on the glass. It's just very impressive. Uh, let's zoom in here on the chrome. Really nice. I love the bumperettes on it. It's got it in the rear as well. Bezels are all super nice. That fitment is looks to be the way that it should. You see a little touch up on that edge there. There's not too many marks on the car as I go to point out one more, but it is just, I love the shine on it. The depth is of the green, excuse me. Like look at the paint here on the trunk lid, how straight the body is. I know I'm jumping around, but it's just nice to have a very nice car. Um, let's pop the hood. And right here, the hood opens nice. And again, you look in here, aluminum radiator. Well, there's your 360 aluminum intake as well. Uh, headers. It's got an Elbrock carburetor on it. I like the way the engine looks. And I got to tell you, it moves. This car drives beautifully. It's tight. It drives straight. It brakes straight. Uh, aluminum radiator. I know I mentioned that. But then look in here. Look how nice this finishes. All throughout the engine compartment. There's your trip tag. Beautiful finish here. Firewall is tidy. This is all super nice, even down when you look in there. Uh, power steering as well. It's an Edelbrock intake. It'll look like ceramic headers. You look in here, how nice that is. You see, look at that stamping right there. I'm trying to see if I, I mean, it's just, it is just nice. And I like the way the engine looks. I had a 360 in a different car and they, it was kind of ugly to be honest with you, but seeing the way they finished it in here, I really like the way this looks. Um, so I'm gonna fire it up now. Your VIN tag is in place, WH, which is Coronet 440. Just look how nice the glass is. And the trim as well. Let's zoom in here. But anyway. And I am going to jump around. Look how nice it is in here. Leather stripping is new. Look how nice the finish is in here. And then just a quick glance at the interior. And then we'll let it fire up. You don't even need the printer. It had been sitting since Saturday, and this. Oh, the radio even works. All the gauges work, all the lights work, including the backup lights. Horn works, wipers work, tack works. A couple added gauges down there. She needs to warm up just a little bit. I basically moved it here. And, uh,. Left to do this. You can just see here, super strong running. It sounds awesome, and again. 
Look how nice that firewall is. Love the hood insulation. I love the attention to detail. Poor Dodge. I love the uh, sticker in the window. Look what, or sniff but don't touch. So that is, that is that. So let's go back here, close the hood. And then I'm gonna show you about the worst thing on the car. To give you an, oh, I love the keystones, by the way. And they're like, that's what I was trying to think of how I wanted the word. They're like, beautiful condition, like mint. Just a couple little marks here and just, you might be able to make it out, just a little indent. That's the worst thing on this whole car that you're gonna find. Underneath is nice, there's zero rust under it. the fitment as well in addition to the finish look how that door lines up to that quarter how the door lines up to the rocker here door to the quarter and again here you see keystones are mint and the reflection that you see I know I showed you the door jams. But let's focus here. Door panel is super nice. You see a couple little marks down there from probably getting in and out, but the door panel is nice. Your finish in here is beautiful. Look at that hem in the door. This is perfect. And then you got the green seat, which really doesn't even look like it's been sad, and that's just how nice it is. The two tone colors, the right steering wheel which the steering wheel is back out here. No cracks, no color missing. Beautiful dash pad, no cracks in it. This is also, look at the light works there. This is all nice. The uh, trim is excellent. The black here is excellent. The gauges are awesome. I mean, this is just a, like I said, one of the nicer, if not nicest Mopar examples I've had. Headliner, visors, working dome light, both uh, seat belts that hang up there, sail panels. Your back seat, how clean it is there. Carpet. I like the seat belt that they're down here. That's kind of neat actually. But then the back seat, it looks perfect. Door panels on both sides are excellent. You got the speakers put in in the back, tastefully done. The package tray is awesome. I mean, this is, this is the one. Mopar glass, it's got the, Mopar. Vinyl top, I love like the, the pattern here. No bubbles in the top. Now right here you see a little touch up on that edge, but then look how nice it is here. All this trim around the vinyl top is pristine. Back windows mint. And then I know just from looking there's a couple little like like those little pencil tip stone chips on that lower edge. I mean, that, that's gonna be expected. This fitment here is beautiful. The way the trunk lines up on both sides. This is, again, same thing here. And then just a little, little scratch right there. Maybe something they had to do when they're putting the key in. Uh, your bumperettes. Really nice chrome as well here. 
couple little more, you know, minor marks on it, but to the naked eye, it's beautiful. Bezels, your trim around the uh, tail area here. Really nice. Just look at the shine. I mean, when you look on it, you really don't even see swirls in the paint, and it's a bright, sunny day. No cracking in here, no bubbling in there. Really nice. Look at that, how the trunk opens on its own. New weather stripping, gorgeous finish. You got a spare uh, steel wheel actually with codes on there, which are pretty interesting if somebody wanted to determine what that was. K2-71118E1, I believe. And then this, in case you wanted to mount it, which I guess you already have part of it. Um, trunk mat, which is, looks like a new trunk mat. This is included, also included. And it looks like production numbers for 69 coronets. Oh, I mean, exactly what you would expect to see with the trunk lid. And there's the finish in here as well. Your trunk pan is just fantastic. Look at that. And then when you look over here, you see the same thing. They, they appear to be the original quarters because they have that, uh, that old school um, undercoating feeling to them. So I would definitely say it is original quarters. But they even did, you know, nice attention to detail painting both of those. I mean, really, just look at that. There's a little Mopar stamping there. I wonder what that's from. Oh, it's from this, the little rubber. Okay, cool. Again, a couple little pencil tip sized stone chips there. It's gonna happen. And I might as well show you these beautiful keystones for the third time. right there no streaks on the glass on this side either still got the Mopar um, emblems in there another one there and just again look how nice it is in here for sale later today on my website nextgenclassiccars.com and ebay both links will be in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and check it out 69 coronet 440 powered by a built 360 not overly built to the point where you know you don't want to drive it but built where it's nice performance and a lot of fun to drive and you'll see when we get in it off look at that and one more keystone look at that so thank you for watching
watching. We are going to fire it up now and then drive it. How nice that is. Yeah. And the light works. Yeah, this thing is clean. Yeah, yeah. That's funny you said clean. That's the term that I used. Clean. Yeah, I love when the secondary is open, man. Mm-hmm. It handles nice. Yeah, Stairs nice. Right Brakes right nice. Accelerates. Very well, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, hit the bump. <laughs> I always like the dashes on these kind of gears. Yeah. They're very nice, very nicely designed. <laughs> 